Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to another interesting tutorial. Welcome once again to the Crafty Bee channel. In this channel, I teach sewing tutorial, pattern drafting, art and craft, and many more. So, I would like to thank all my returning subscribers for always on point to watch my videos. I thank you all. I appreciate you guys so very much. If you are my new viewer, I'll say a big thank you and welcome back to the Crafty Bee channel. Please consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on your bell notification to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to cut and sew a car bubu kaftan. And it's the short version of the long one. So if this is what you like to learn, please stay tuned to the end of the video. Let's go right into the video. So I have folded two and a half yards of fabric on the table. I folded it into four. This is the shoulder part and this is the front and the back folded together. I'm going to be cutting the front and the back together. And it's going to have a shoulder slope. And then the length I'm using is 38 and a half inches together with the sewing allowance. So to make this cow bubu kaftan dress, you need your hip measurement and your shoulder measurement. So let's get right into the cutting. So on this neck, I'm taking four inches for the neck width. And then for the neck depth, I'll be taking three and a half inches. And I'm cutting the neck for the front and the back. So I'm going to get my curve ruler to so draw the neck line. And the shoulder I'm working with is 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. So I'm going to place 8.5 inches here on the shoulder line. So the next thing to do is to mark 1.5 inch for the neck depth on the end of the fabric. Then I'm going to roll it with a straight ruler. I'm connecting from the neck width straight to the side of the dress. So that's the shoulder slope. So I'm going to mark from the shoulder to the knee line, five inches above the knee line. So the knee line I'm measuring is, we don't normally need the bust, the waist and the hip line because we are going to use the hip measurement divided by four for the knee line. So I'm marking 33 inches for the knee line. And I'm going to mark it across. So I'm going to rule a straight line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place quarter of the hip measurement on this knee line plus three inches ease and sewing allowance. So the hip is 44 inches divided by four is 11 inches. 11 inches plus 3 inches for the ease and the sewing allowance is going to be 14 inches. 11 plus 3, 14 inches. So I'm placing 14 inches on the knee line here. And I'm going to connect the 14 inches straight down to the end of the dress. So the next thing to do is to mark the arm opening. On this uh, shoulder slope, I'll be marking 9 inches, half of my armhole measurement, which is 9 inches. So from this 9 inches, I'm going to draw a round line to come and meet the knee line here, which is for the cow fat. So let me use my hand to try and because this material is very difficult to handle. You see, when I reach the knee line, I'm going to curve it so that you don't have a sharp point here. I'm going, to, I'm going to curve it inside like this. You see, on the knee part, I curve the line inside to meet the end of the dress. So the next thing to do now is to come to the neck line and deepen it so that you can see the line because the chalk, I don't know where, is the fabric. So we mark the shoulder line, half of the shoulder measurement, which is eight and a half inches. I mark half of the shoulder measurement which is eight and a half inches, like so. So from this eight and a half inches, I'm going to mark two inches again on the shoulder. So now we'll cut it out and show you the next thing to do. So from the neck now, we are cutting out the shoulder slope. 
for last is to cut the damp part and cut this cup to make the arm opening. Guys, I finished cutting the boo-boo. This is how our captain look like. So the next thing is for me to notch the sleeve opening part. So let me open it up for you to see how it looks. But before then, I forgot to show you how I folded it because this uh, fabric is very difficult to handle. So I'll show you with this paper pattern here. Let me say this line here is two and a half yards by 60 inches in length. This is the fabric I folded to cut this pattern. So I folded the yardage into two like this. After folded it into two, I went ahead like this and folded it on the length like so. So one, two, three, four. So I will sew from this left point all the way to these two inches. So this line here and the slip opening will be open. It will not be closed. It will be free. Well, I will just hem the edges. So from this end now, I will sew it all the way to the hem line. And then I'll conceal the neckline. This is all. So I hope you understand what I did here. So now, I have finished cutting it everything. Let me open it up for you to see how it looks. It looks like a butterfly shape. So what I'm going to do now is to take it to my machine, stitch the shoulder to that two inches I marked after the shoulder line. And then I'll stitch it up to here, about half an inch. Then I'll leave all this edge like so. I'll stitch it from the arm opening here all the way to the hemline. Then I'll go ahead and conceal the edges, lock the edges. I use the piece I cut to cut bias. And I'm going to use the same fabric to seal the neckline. Then I'll come back and show you the next thing to do. So basically, guys, I have finished joining all the sides of this cow boo boo. So this is how it look. This is the opening of the sleeve. You see, I didn't lock the shoulder to the end. After marking the shoulder length, I added two inches and stitched from that two inches to the neckline. So this remaining side is open and the sleeve opening is also not sewn. So it started from the end of the sleeve opening to the down. So let me show how you how the neckline look like. This is how our neckline look like. Hope you can see it. This is our neckline, very beautiful. And the same thing to the other side. So let me show you how it look. This is how it look. You see how it look? It drapes nicely. So what I'm going to do now is to hem from this shoulder opening I'm going to hem the edges to the end here and then hem the other side and continue to hem through the arm hole and continue to hem through the arm opening to this end. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Then that will bring us to the end of our video. Then I'll come and show you the finishing look on my mannequin. So guys, this is how beautiful it looks on the mannequin. Very simple to make and easy to make. So guys, thank you for watching. If you find this video so helpful and useful, don't forget to share my videos, like, and also leave your comments. Don't hesitate to leave comments. Leave comments. I'll answer you immediately. So guys, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.